and the city council seems poised to allow people who live in the city to have stun guns. This is in response to a ruling from the U.S. Supreme Court that the Second Amendment right to bear arms includes tasers and stun guns. Now, the bill introduced tonight would allow someone to, quote, possess and use an electronic control device as a form of non-lethal self-defense in the home and in the public, end quote. That's a quote from the ordinance. There would be restrictions to use, such as in sensitive places or in the hands of people who pose a risk. This is the most recent reaction to the U.S. Supreme Court ruling that determined Baltimore's ban on the weapons was unconstitutional. In January, a group of local plaintiffs filed a federal lawsuit challenging stun gun bans in Baltimore City as well as Baltimore and Howard counties. The two counties repealed their bans and now Baltimore City is moving in that direction. But not everyone is on board. By telephone tonight, Councilman Eric Costello told me, quote, I don't support this bill. I'm opposed to putting more weapons on the street. End quote. Now, Costello chairs the Judiciary and Legislative Investigations Committee and has scheduled a public hearing for the bill for May 2nd and concedes that if Baltimore tries to fight the U.S. Supreme Court's ruling on the stun gun ban, it would cost the city big bucks. Andre Hepkins, WBAL, TV 11 News.